Here's Phil uh, redoing the uh, transfer transfer for the soundboard in incredibly close detail. That is one tiny part of the soundboard transfer. <laughs> And we're zooming up to incredibly small parts to redo them so that eventually it'll look perfect. Right, well, uh, I'm about to start sanding now on the, uh, the top part of the piano while we're waiting for some clamps to arrive. Um, we've, uh, we've got this big sanding block here connected to the vacuum cleaner and the the actual sandpaper is uh, Velcro backed and comes through so that you can actually have a vacuum cleaner on and it sucks the dust up which is awesome. Uh, we do actually... <laughs> this is Martin, he is pissing himself because I think it's awesome that um, sandpapers get sucked up which is brilliant. <laughs> I'm going to put this all on fucking YouTube, I don't care. <laughs> Might as well, this is not a professional video. So, basically, yeah, that's what we do. Vacuum cleaner on. There we go. Obviously you do this two-handed, but I'm holding the bloody phone, aren't I? So, sending like that. Keep it nice and flat, and then I'll make another. And then I'll make another video once I've uh, got all this polish off to show you what it looks like when we've done it. So there you go. And it is bloody awesome. I don't care what Martin says. Okay. Well, instead of uh, showing you the finished result as I was originally going to, I thought instead I'd show you a before and after when I've done halfway through the lid. So now you can see the original polish and what the wood looks like when uh, it's been sanded back and as you can see it's a lovely lovely pattern of wood that is I think that's a gorgeous lid I think it's a gorgeous piece of wood on that lid and um, so when that's all been sanded back we'll then uh, wash it with meths uh, which brings out any uh, remaining uh, polish out of the green and also it darkens the wood slightly uh, back to its original colour uh, because obviously over the years this wood will have faded and it does restore the original colour by giving it a wash. Uh, it's going to be sanded a couple of times as well by various degrees of sandpaper and uh, grain filled, uh, any repairs, damage, damage and um, little nicks will be repaired um, and then basically after that it's ready for spraying so um, yeah and that's that process that I'm doing at the moment it's uh, obviously going to be repeated on all the other parts of the piano it's going to be done on, uh, on the body um, but we're obviously going to finish repairing the soundboard before we do that and um, all these bits have, up, have already sanded down. You've got uh, the fall here and uh, a couple other bits and pieces. Uh, they're not stacked very carefully at the moment. And, uh, but then again, I'm not finished working on them. So there you go. Lovely. Yeah. Crappy screw. Let's put it in the drill. To do this one ended. There it goes. Ah, it's a bit better, isn't it? Now, oh, a bit of buffing, that'll look lovely. Here we go. Do you like my drawing? Soundboard. These are all the screws I've been polishing up. 
that's what it starts out looking like. Not, uh, not particularly attractive, are they? I think they were blued at some point, uh, either new when they were new or they've had some kind of nickel plating that's gone off uh, with age or something. But whatever, it's they don't look very attractive. And uh, that is what they look like when they've all been nicely polished up. Uh, I'm still going to put them on the buffing wheel and get them even more shinier than that, but uh, you've got to admit, they look a lot nicer than them. And before anyone says anything, yes, those at the front are smaller than the ones at the back, and I've not just sanded them down so that they look smaller. I don't know, some people. <laughs> look at this look. Seven frame bolts. I don't think I've ever done a piano that's had seven frame bolts in the uh, in the middle of the frame. I don't know what I'm on about. Right, so uh, big old buffing wheel next. Look at workshop at the moment. It's in right state, isn't it? You know what this is, don't you? This is this is because it's uh, next to Christmas and nobody's bothering tidying up anymore. It. Uh, yeah. Phil's been doing his uh, his old uh, Steinway action rail repairing again. They're looking very nice. Good, 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 good. Awesome. As for me, I'm going to carry on making these uh, screws look nice. Yeah, look, buffing wheel. Now, when I turn this bugger on at the at the wall, it'll kick in. Uh, this thing's a bit of a legend. It's been made out of a uh, recycled washing machine and a bunch of scraps. Works absolutely bloody amazing, but unfortunately when you switch it on at the wall, it drains the power out of the flipping grid. I'm sure there's people in flipping Rainworth whose lights dim when you switch this on. You watch this. You watch the lights when I switch this bugger on. You see that? You see it flicker? Right, there we go. Screw. But you know not, I'm not saying, I'm not, I've not got a death wish. I'm using two hands for this, bear with me. And there we go. <clears throat> just drilling out the old felt I don't know if I'll be able to do that one handed <laughs> okay so <clears throat> bit of work on the dampers today I've been you've seen me knocking all the felts out of them I've uh, I've uh, cleaned them up with oxalic acid and a bit of uh, sanding as well. They seem to have come up quite nicely. Um, Going to put a little bit of wax on them later. Now, at the moment, I'm working on the heads. As you can see, all this old felt is going to be coming off. I'm going to replace the wires as well because... Uh, <clears throat> there you go, that's one where the wire's been removed. You remove the wires by a little tap. Well, it's on the, uh, the jig and it pops straight out. There you go, there's one of the old wires. As you can see, if my phone will zoom in, there's an awful lot of corrosion on that wire. It's not very nice. And that has got to slide up and down these really, really smoothly. And it's not going to do that because that's all corroded and gone horrible. And there is one of the new ones that I'll be replacing it with. I mean, you can see the difference straight away, can't you? I mean, that's going to be lovely and smooth going up and down. That's all rough and horrible. Um, in fact, you, if, if you listen to that, you can hear all the corrosion on that, whereas that, straight up and down. So not only is it going to move better, it's also going to be sound quieter as well. So we're doing all that today. Uh, the felt... Is going to be coming off today as well. We'll uh, wet the felt and take it off. A uh, little bit of heat, a little bit of water, that will come straight off. Um, polish up the, the tops again so they're all, all nice and shiny. 
and then we'll stick some fresh on uh, but uh, the fresh felt won't be arriving just yet because that's coming with the rest of the order from uh, the supply company <coughs> bless me and uh, yeah there, so there you go that's my work for a little while we're going to have to replace the felt in that as well, but I don't want to replace the felt until we get a new set of these. This is just one spare that was left over from another set we did um, a while ago. And uh, I want to make sure that the new ones, when they arrive, are the same diameter. Because if I want, if these need to go up and down there exactly smoothly, I need to know exact diameters of that so I can put the right thickness of felt back. So, there you go. Dampers!